this is a, a very, very real fight for Daniel Dubois against a guy who's twice been a World Championship bronze medalist. He's twice performed in the Olympics, undefeated now as a pro. You didn't really have to take this, did you? No, we didn't, but uh, both the boys, Daniel and Joe, uh, by the time they do fight, which I hope they're going to fight, and you're not going to upset the odds, but... I'm not, you know, I'll never over under, underestimate anyone, any opponent. I prepare for it like a world title fight every time I get in the ring, so... The people who benefit from it are the fans again. The people who are watching it on BT, watch it live, you're going to see something, I think, a little bit special. Uh, he's saying he's very, very good, but boxing is another uh, world. Welcome to the boxing world. You've not been in that boxing world for a long time, have you? But he's in it. So we're going to have some real good fight. These two guys are going to put it on, and they know they know what it means for the winners. The winners of these fights are going to go on and fight for a world title. Another heavyweight contest, top of the bill on Saturday, and a great one for the fans to look forward to. I'm looking forward to it, you know, as I say, Joe's been out for a long time, we've seen Michael's got a, a really good record, he's uh, very, very well respected in the trade. This is a tough fight for Joe, he's had, what, Joe's had 10 pro fights, he's had 23 pro fights, so it's not like we've brought home, you know, somebody's coming over and just make up the numbers. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've looked at his, his performances against like F.A. and Jagbo and Tony Yoka, so he's a, you know, he's a very skillful uh, European style boxer and um, you know be coming to win and take my scalp so I'm not going to take him lightly I'm gonna you know I'll be doing my training and the training camp's gone well and so you're going to see a really good performance from my side and uh, I think he's going to bring it as well that's the reason because he's under the top 15 in the world so I respect him as a fighter but but, but yeah. yeah, I mean, this is a fantastic opportunity for you. Yeah, I got the call three weeks before, yes. And uh, Arnold was asking me if I want to fight him, and I said yes, because I want to fight the best of the world, and he's one of them, and I said yes, immediately.